Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Alicia from Primarily Optimistic. I teach third grade reading, and today I want to talk with you about the March Madness picture book edition that we are going to be trying in our classroom. Um, I've seen this a couple times um, through Instagram and um, other teachers doing it. I haven't ever personally tried it, so I thought this year would be super fun to try. Um, this March Madness, um, contest. Plus, it's also really interesting to see what books your students think are their favorite, um, and which ones they really enjoyed so that you can get similar books. Um, since this is my first time doing it, I decided to pick 16 books for this book challenge, and I picked books that were leaned more for social emotional um, my students really need that and so I think finding their social emotional needs through a character in a book has been really helpful for them so a couple of these they've already read but several of them we've never read together as a class and I think that this would be a perfect idea to introduce these new books to them talk about them um, one thing that I really want to do while I'm reading this story is really focus on the theme of each story so that students are um taking away a message that can also be applied to them. And it's also one of our standards. So this goes along perfectly with what we're already teaching. Um, and it's a skill that they really need to work on. So I'm going to share with you a couple of the books that, um, I'm going, that I picked and, um, kind of why I picked them. Um, <clears throat> I put the theme on each back of them. And so with my chart, I put certain books together, um, to compete with so that they can compare kind of apples to apples when they're thinking about their book's choice. Now, not every book always pairs perfectly with the other, but most of these pair pretty perfectly, and that wasn't intended when I first picked them. I just picked a whole bunch of books that had great social emotional um, learning needs behind it, and, and then they ended up matching up very well whenever I was sitting down to think about what the theme of each story was. So here we go. Um, one of the stories that I want to read to my students is, uh, I don't know, this, someone was coming in, Alma and the Worry Stone. We read this story already before at the beginning of the year, um, and I will link up in the cards the first three days of school and how I use this. Um, this was a great social emotional book, um, and the theme behind it was that um, there's many things that you can be like worry about, but just be brave. And with this book, when I read it, we all created a worry stone for my students because they were very anxious about the first day. So we're going to reread this book again. And I paired it with Jabari Jumps. This book also has a very similar theme um, about overcoming your fears. Um, trying something new even though you may be afraid and some strategies that you could do so I paired these two together to vote against another book that we picked was The Invisible Boy um, I've never read this story to my students and I also never read um, Jabari Jumps but this is a great friendship book it talks about making sure you don't leave anyone out and how um, everyone is special and unique and I paired that one with the Name Jar. This is another story that we haven't read, but this book is so precious. Um, it's also about everyone being unique in their own way and um, finding some, something that's just special about them and being okay and accepting about it. The next book that I um, want to use in this challenge is We Don't Eat Our Classmates. This is another story that we read at the very beginning of the school year. It's perfect. It talks about empathy. Um, it talks about um, getting along with others, and so I thought this would be a great one to vote and use against March Madness. With We Don't Eat Our Classmates, I paired it with The Cool Bean. It also has a very similar theme with it, um, empathy and friendship. The next one that I picked was Stand Tall, Molly Lou Melon. I love this book. We read this book before when we used and talked about character traits. And so this one will be very familiar with it when we talk about being true to yourself. And with that book, I paired it with A Color of Your Own. It has a very similar meaning. This book is also very precious. Um, and I think it's a great book for them to just... They just need that reminder sometimes that you're you're perfect the way you are. You don't need to change, um, and we all love you for exactly who you are. So this is a great book that I'm also going to put in March Madness. 
Another book is The Day You Begin. Um, I liked this book because it started out at the beginning kind of just describing how she felt like she was an outsider, but then in the end, she finds someone that is very similar to her, yet is still very unique. And so again, still talking about being true to yourself, but um, finding that friend that you have in common just with one thing with. So this book, and I paired it with The Dot, um, is a great book. It's about, the theme pretty much is like just being creative and everyone is unique. Um, and it gives a good self-esteem um, story. The next one is I'll Wait, Mr. Panda. I haven't ever read this story before. I read it to my preschoolers and they absolutely loved it. Um, and this book is really about patience. Even though this one is about patience, I paired it with wordy birdie this book is so fun and it fits very it just fits perfectly with this class um and i plan on doing it with my second class as well i think um it'd be fun to see which which class wants one book to win versus the other and maybe they might like both agree on the same book but anyway this one is about actively listening to your peers and others around you and i think these two even though they have different themes i think will pair perfectly the next one is Those Shoes, talking about kindness and helping others. Um, and I paired it with Too Many Carrots, which is very much about sharing. Um, the This one I did, Tyrannosaurus Rex and versus Edna, the very first chicken. This book is hilarious if you've never read it before. Um, I first introduced it um, to my preschoolers with Storyline Online, and the guy who read the story was hilarious. My kids begged for this book. So I ended up purchasing it, purchasing it for my classroom and my third graders also love it. This one talks about standing up for what you believe in, standing up for your friends and being brave. And I paired it with the last book, Ready to Fly. Um, this book is about never giving up and to keep trying. So those are the 16 books that I plan on using for March Madness. Um, it'll be so fun to reread books that are familiar, but also introducing new books to our students. And I hope it will also um, just get students more engaged with reading. Um, most of my students really like chapter books and what they're kind of going for is you know, Diar Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Bad Guys, um, what else is their favorite? Judy Moody has been, um, is it Judy Moody? No, Judy Bloom has been a favorite with the Fudge series. Um, they've loved that. We did one of those as a read aloud and they were automatically hooked. So I think um, <clears throat> just getting them hooked into a couple more picture books, like we read several times um, here in class. But the stories that we're reading are kind of some of them can make a connection because they're from the journeys books but I feel like sometimes the stories from the journeys books are a little bit harder to get the students engaged with and that's the curriculum that we have here so um, I think this is a great way to add additional books into our library additional books for the students to become familiar with and love and also also want to pick those books up for themselves when they put them in their book box so um, that is the plan I put together my anchor chart and I will show it to you here I decided to restart and this is the final one I just need to add the pictures of the books here I purchased the um, teachers pay teachers kit from Ramona recommends um, and I'll link her page here so that you can find her if you don't already she's so fun to watch and always introduces great social emotional books to um, read to your students and um, I think she has a great little kit that you can put together. Um, that's where I started because I've never done this before. So I used her kit. I still need to add the story covers to the chart and we'll get started with March Madness. Um, 
I will show me putting the picture clips on at a later time. Um, I don't currently have them, so I'm going to work on them tonight and print them over the weekend. And that way we can get ready and start March Madness on March. Today is March 3rd on March 7th. So we will start March Madness on March 7th. And I can't wait to see which books my students pick as their absolute favorite to be the winner for March 2022. So anyway, that's what I plan on doing with March Madness. Um, if you are also participating in March Madness, I can't wait to see what books you are using. Leave a comment below so that I can see if we have some more books or new books that I don't already have that I definitely need to add to our library. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for coming back. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye!